Good morning, everyone. You are watching Barnstable this morning. This morning, joining me over the phone is Susan Griffin, Activities Coordinator for the Barnstable Senior Center. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Sarah. Nice speaking with you this morning. Great to speak to you as well. And one thing that we're all thinking of this time of year is that the tax season is coming up. You guys actually have a program uh, going on at the Barnstable Senior Center to help some individuals with uh, tax help. Yes, and it's, it's very important. It's been happening for many, many years here at the Barnesville Senior Center, and we're fortunate to have the AARP Foundation Tax Aid Program. And this is a group of volunteers, uh, many of them retired, that have been in you know, accounting or done taxes in the past, CPAs, and they uh, volunteer their time to help uh, people with their taxes here at the Senior Center and amongst many of the Senior Centers on the Cape. So it's a, a very worthy program. There isn't any fee. Um, there are, of course, some restrictions as to the um, type of, of tax returns that they will do. Uh, they do not do any people's taxes that have rental property, but there's quite a bit of information that we can give to people, and we're taking appointments now. We've been very busy because we did start taking them as of January 21st, so when I looked just before we began speaking on the phone, the next available appointment is actually March 6th, so I urge people to call as soon as they can to make their appointment because they do fill up very quickly. Well, I mean, what a beneficial program, really, because a lot of uh, seniors can oftentimes be on fixed incomes and definitely something that they can't afford to spend money on is that tax preparation. That's right, because it can be quite costly um, regardless of where you go. So having this as a free program is is a real asset to the senior center as well as to the community. Tell me, Susan, what other activities uh, do we have in store for us next month, uh, the month of February? Well, we're busy as usual here. We do have quite a bit going on. We'd like to um, encourage people to use our online registration now, and they can do that for free programs as well as, as uh, paid programs because they can use their credit card. And let me just give a shout-out to the website where people can go and sign up. It's uh, www.town.barnstable.ma.us slash senior services. And um, you can go right online there and sign up. Uh, if not, you can certainly come into the Senior Center. And what we have going on as far as special events and entertainment is February 14th, very important day for that month. We are having Sinatra Live here at the Senior Center. And uh, we are offering that free beginning at 1.30, and that should be a lot of fun. Oh, how, how fun. That sounds like a great activity for Valentine's Day. Tell me, what, what describe uh, Sinatra Live for me. Oh, uh, well, it's actually Michael Driscoll. We would love to have Sinatra here himself, but we know that's not possible at the moment. <laughs> and he will be performing uh, songs from the Sinatra Songbook, of course, many of the famous songs from the 40s and 50s and most of, you know, we're, that we're all familiar with. And, and what a great way to spend Valentine's Day, whether you're on your own or bring a loved one, it doesn't matter. We're going to be serving a little dessert with that, uh, sponsored by Cape Regency, and that should be a really lovely addition to that, uh, to that performance. So we encourage people to come on in and sign up and have some fun. And you did say, I think, Susan, did you say that that was free, that event? That event is free, so it is Friday, February 14th at 1.30, so come on in and sign up and have a good time. And you definitely, you want people, you're asking people to sign up for the program just to get a gauge on how many people are going to attend that day? Yes. Uh, we actually want people to sign up for just about everything that happens here because we don't want instructors or, or performers, entertainers, etc., facilitators of workshops to come in and just have one or two persons show up because there, many of these people are donating their time or we have something perhaps like this event with Sinatra Live uh, where we're serving dessert. So, you know, we like to have an idea of how many people will be participating. So we alert the, uh, the performers and, and instructors, et cetera, as to how many people will be participating in their programs. And it's really important for us to know. And I can imagine now it's a little bit easier for everyone to do that because there is the online registration. Tell me, Susan, if you're signing up for a program that is free of charge, do you still have to enter your credit card information into the system? No, you do not. No, nope. you just enter your name, and um, you're, you'll have to go in on uh, with your, obviously, with your information. That should be most people that have participated in programs here before 
their uh, basic information is in there already, but they may need to add their own. If they haven't signed up for anything online, they may t- need to add their own password. And if anyone needs help with that, we can help them here at the Senior Center. And they can either stop in and we'll walk them through it, or we can walk them through on the phone. We have people here uh, specifically to help with that, but if they're not here that day to help, then a staff person will certainly do that. Great. Have you been getting a lot of uh, people using that online resource now? We certainly have. There's been a 20 per, it's been a 20% so far, and we only began this, uh, I think it was in December, uh, 20% increase. So that's really, or 20% of the people that have signed up for programs have gone online to do so. So that's, a, that's really positive. Yeah, pretty significant numbers there. Tell me, what else can we expect during the month of February at the Senior Center? Okay, February 20th, we have at 1.30 another, <clears throat> excuse me, free event. It's Understanding Your Brain, Heart, and Your Nervous System. And this seminar will explain the basic structure of those three very important um, biological functions in your body, I guess, and how they all connect to your overall health. And that should be, a, you know, it's, a, it's obviously crucial. And, you know, they're going to talk about sleep and, and different cardiac studies, foods, and that will be very interesting. And, again, February 20th at 1.30. And we are... Moving on from that, we will have an Angels Talk, a workshop at 1 p.m. on February 20th. And this is um, kind of a spiritual, kind of new age, maybe alternative way of thinking about um, experiences people may have had with angels in their lives. So that's uh, Sharon Anderson. She's been a very uh, dynamic and popular speaker here, and we're looking forward to that. Uh, and we have an author talk on February 18th at 2 p.m. And this is uh, Marguerite Morris Willis, and her book is called Grandmother's Essays on Education. And Margaret's had many years of experience in the school system and with school committees in town uh, that she lives in in Western Mass, and she's written this book uh, hoping, and she's very passionate about education, she says, and she wants to speak up and keep it real, she says, and question the current systems and how things can change to a, a, a more beneficial educational system. So she's uh, she sh- will be here again February 18th at 2 p.m. And on from that, we have exercise programs starting at the beginning of February. Some of them are <clears throat> starting February 2nd and some are starting February 4th. So we have different, we also have games beginning, Intermediate Bridge will begin February 27th. That will go until April 3rd, and that's at 1.30. And that is actually $60. We have Yoga with Stephanie beginning February 25th, and that is from 9 to 10 a.m., and it goes through March 25th, and on Tuesdays, and that's $30 for that one. And the ever-popular Zumba begins February 25th. Uh, we have a Tuesday and Thursday class for that. Um, they both are at 9, from 9 to 10 a.m. They both go through till March 25th, 27th, and that's a $30 fee for that, for those classes. So we have many variety of, of uh, exercise programs beginning in, in February. We encourage you to come on in or take a look at them online. And they will, uh, most of the classes are an hour, most average about $6 a class. And they're all, you know, we all need to stay healthy and flexible and have good balance, and they all are, will help us with, with being more fit. Yeah, and absolutely, and it's such a, uh, a good place. It's conveniently located, really central and affordable activities. So thank you so much for reviewing what's happening coming up this uh, winter and spring. I really appreciate it. And, of course, I guess we should let everyone know, too, that they can check out the new Senior Compass that has just been released. Yes, please do. And you can, you know, certainly go online. You can print it off yourself if you'd like. You can stop into the Senior Center, pick one up, and they're also available at local libraries. So uh, it covers January through March and uh, everything that's happening here at the Center. And uh, if I could just, because of the recent weather we've had, <laughs> um, being winter in New England, we just want to remind people that when the Barnstable school system is closed, that the activities at the Barnstable Senior Center will be canceled as well. So just a little reminder out there for people, we don't want you driving in the snow or thinking you have to be here for a class if it's bad weather. 
Right, if school is canceled, so are activities at the Senior Center. Well, thank yeah. you so much, Susan. I really appreciate you taking the time to chat with us and tell us all about the activities at the Senior Center. We'll chat with you soon. Thanks, Sarah. Have a great day. You too. My bye -bye. guest this morning was Susan Griffin, Activities Coordinator for the Barnstable Senior Center. For Barnstable this morning, I'm Sarah Mannell.